The Lion and the Eagle, a unique meeting of Czech and U.S. ambassadors organized by the Czech Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Five Czech and five U.S. envoys gathered on October 7, 2011 at the Chernin Palace in Prague. Together, they discussed Czech-U.S. relations and shared their personal memories about their years in service. The U.S. Embassy took advantage of this historic moment and asked the U.S. ambassadors what their stay in the Czech Republic meant to them. Quite simply, it was the beginning of the end of communism, and quite simply, it was the most important moment of my life. That moment where Havel was sworn in as the new president, after all of my relationship with him and my wife's relationship with him, was the culmination of a, of a 31 year career. Well, serving as the U.S. ambassador to the Czech Republic was a great honor. I, it was a particular uh, time for me. Madeleine Albright, who had been born in the Czech Republic, was the Secretary of State. Uh, she and I knew each other very well. She spoke better Czech than I did. So uh, when she was in touch with the government, I sometimes would have to find out what it was she had said from Washington. But in all seriousness, it was a, a wonderful time. It was a time when the Czechs uh, were admitted into NATO and also a difficult time. It was the time when NATO went to war in Kosovo, and I was very much involved in that. I was a human rights assistant secretary of state before coming here, and for that reason my own particular interest tended toward the Balkans. I'd say the proudest moment I had was going with the Czech army, uh, General uh, Shedevi, to the Balkans uh, with, uh, to visit the Czech troops who were stationed in, in, in the NATO forces. And uh, that was a great moment because it showed very clearly what it meant for the Czech Republic to have become a member of NATO and how they were performing their duties uh, in defense of democracy and human rights. Well, I came just two weeks before 9-11, so 9-11 uh, so was really the template for the whole time uh, I was here. Uh, it meant that we had intense relationships with uh, with with the government and the and the and the and the people of the Czech Republic, as you'll remember, our whole street, in front of the uh, in front of the embassy, was full of uh, was full of flowers and notes and candles, uh, so it was very emotional for uh, uh, for Americans and for Czechs, and the Czechs tried to help us to uh, rescue people after 9/11, uh, but most of the there weren't a lot of people that were injured. They were either uh, they were either alive or dead, so that was the template. And then we had then we had. Uh, uh, I tried to go all over the country. I made friends ar around the country. I was interested not only in, in politics, but in economic development, in terms of the, the, cu the culture of the Czech Republic, beer, wines, uh, music. Uh, so it was a fantastic experience. Uh, I have great, uh, uh, great affection for the country, uh, and, I, and, I, and I come back all the time. So uh, uh, I obviously love it. I, being an artist, was very fortunate to be able to communicate with the artistic community. I did, really didn't know how that was going to work out, and I didn't have high expectations, but I would have to say that the embassy was very supportive of what I was doing, although naturally their first priority was the ambassador. My first and only experience uh, with the U.S. State Department in a foreign country Although Catherine and I had served uh, in Germany in the U.S. Army in the early 60s, it was a wonderful experience for us to be in a country with the relationship that uh, it had had with the United States, the history of the Czech Republic, uh, which was unbelievably great leading up to the Second World War, and then a very tough time after that for the next 50 years. But we saw it coming out of that tough time. And uh, we were impressed by what the Czechs were doing, uh, both not only culturally, but uh, economically, uh, working with the United States and its various missions overseas. So it was a great experience for us to be part of the U.S.-Czech relationship over that almost three-year period of time. Well, uh, it means to me the past, the present, and the future. The past is the history of my family uh, in these lands, uh, the, uh, and now being able to return and to close that, that circle. The present... 
uh, is the outstanding relationship between the Czech Republic and the United States in the defense and strategic area, in the commercial and economic one, and above all in our shared values and our shared missions, like fighting for good governance and for civil rights. But the future it also means the promise of the future in areas like civil nuclear. The president's been here twice to talk about the Prague agenda. An important part of that is our two nations cooperating as world leaders on safe civil nuclear power. So I think the best is yet to come.